William Nylander has officially signed a contract extension with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And let's break down this absolutely massive extension and what it means for the future of Toronto. This extension carries an average annual value of $11.5 million and lasts for an eight-year term. It is a massive deal. Now, first, the good. Nylander is absolutely lighting up the NHL right now, currently with 54 points in 37 games. This guy is a stud, and he is currently the Leafs' best winger. For this reason, locking Nylander down for seemingly his entire career until he's 36 years old is a very good thing. As I put it here, I've been supporting this guy since day one, as this is the story of how I acquired this very jersey the summer before his first contract extension. And here I am in grade nine rocking this jersey proudly. And as I said here, this guy being a Leaf for life is very special. But now for the bad. It is absolutely expensive and is an overpay. $11.5 million for a guy that's having a breakout year he could potentially never reach these point totals again is a risk. But so is taking the gamble of not bringing back William Nylander. He's a special player having a special season, and bringing this guy back for eight years was the right decision despite how risky that cap hit is. Today with this signing, we have opened our competitive window up for eight more years, and that is a very good thing. In an ideal world, I would have loved a 10 to $10.5 million extension, and even more ideally, we would have done this in the offseason before this spectacular season, and probably would have been able to lock this guy in at 9.5 to 10. But here's the key, the cap is going up. While this year, and maybe for the next few, this is going to be expensive and it absolutely is going to hurt the Leafs' ability to bring in more depth and round out the rest of the roster beyond the core four. In the long run, locking this guy in for eight years is worth it. If the cap goes up as much as projected, in the end, this deal will look like a steal. And for that reason, locking down Nylander for his entire career is worth it for this team. In the short term, it will put us into cap hell, but the key is that you're getting this guy for eight years and that's the premium you have to pay. If you wanted to give this guy a short-term deal, he'd have the opportunity to renegotiate a deal with the cap going up and as a result would probably ask for more depending on what the cap's like in a few years but with this deal we made it so Nylander never has to renegotiate a deal with this team again at least till he's 36 years old and in order to get that deal and in order to get this guy locked in for eight years you do have to pay a bonus for that and that's where the extra one to 1.5 million dollars comes in it is a lot and it's not ideal but you're getting this guy for his entire career and that is worth every penny don't want to take my word for it that's fine but listen to captain John Tavares and what he has to say about William Nylander. This guy's built to play here. He has the utmost amount of confidence. No fan pressure seems to face him. Even in the playoffs, he's consistently our most dominant player. And for that reason, bringing back William Nylander was the right move, despite me not loving the cap hit. Nylander wants to play in Toronto. He said it himself, and this is his home. So congratulations to William Nylander for signing an $11.5 million average annual value and a $92 million deal over eight years. I don't know about the whole fan base, but Willie, I love you and I'm happy you're here. And I can't wait for eight more years of contention with the Toronto Maple Leafs. You're a champion, buddy. We'll see you in the playoffs. And hopefully you'll make this kid's lifelong dream come true to see the Leafs lift the Stanley Cup. For now, we just have to wait and see, but thank you so much for watching. And let me know what your thoughts on the William Nylander contract extension are in the comments down below.